guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have my March book haul and I told myself I wasn't gonna buy more books because I already have way too many on my TBR, but I still couldn't control myself. I still bought books and today I have 10 books to show you. So yeah, that's, that's quite a lot and I think like two of them I've already read. So maybe that helps, sort of. Nope. So let's start off with the two books that I've already read, but I'm also really excited about these books. The first two books are Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I also showed this book to you guys in my last video. These are very special to me because they are first edition Harry Potter books. And even though after the fourth book or after like the, the third book, the first editions aren't really that special because a lot of people already loved the series. It's still special to me. I mean, these are first editions. These came out in like 2003 and 2005, which is still more than 10 years ago, which I think is crazy now that I'm thinking about it. I'm really happy with these and they will be on my Harry Potter shelf. And they were also very cheap. I bought these two for 12 euros and they're two hardcover gi ginormous books. I mean, they're just, they're just as big as my head. Then I ordered something on Amazon. And before I ordered the thing on Amazon, I already bought a ton of stuff on Book Depository. So I was like, Sabine, why are you doing this? You already spent so much money, but I still couldn't control myself because these books were cheap. And that is 99 out of 100 times the thing why I bought books, because there was a reduction, there was a sale going on. I just can't control myself when the books are cheap. The first book that I ordered from Amazon is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, and I normally hate it when people are on the cover, but this one is beautiful. I mean, this girl on here, she's stunning, and then you have the beautiful colors here. I love it so very much. And I bought this because my friend Karis from Karis on Reading, this is one of her favorite books. And I just wanna read all of her favorite books even though I still haven't read any of them. I have bought them all. I don't know too much about this book. I know that it is a UK contemporary book and I wanna read more UK authors. I believe that this is about a girl and she all she wants to do is she wants to study and she wants to get to her goal and she will not let anyone or anything stand in the way until she meets this boy. But then the trust between them is broken and the main character needs to find her way again. It was only five euros, so that's kind of why I bought it. A ton of hype has been surrounding this book and that is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I've been meaning to pick up this book, but when I saw it for only 10 euros and it's the hardcover, I was like, I need to get it right now. This is a contemporary book about Simon who is gay and he is talking to this boy online while sending emails. And then someone in his class finds out that Simon is talking to this person and that he's gay. And then he blackmails Simon. That's all I know. That's all that I need to know. I've heard that it's really cute and adorable. And I just really want to read contemporary. I've just really been in the mood because of this good weather. It's like the sun is shining. What? That never happens. And I believe that Becky Albertalli is also coming out with a new book this spring, and I also really want to make my most anticipated spring releases video, so look out for that one. And then something else, then contemporary. Here I have A Study in Charlotte by Brittany C C Cavallaro? Cavallaro. Cavallaro. I am also a huge, huge Sherlock fan. I love the show, it's amazing, it's one of my favorites. And this is a sort of not Sherlock retelling, but the two main characters in this book are descendants from Watson and Sherlock. And I believe that they're gonna solve some sort of murder, I think, that happened on their private school. Sounds good to me. And the second book, uh, the last August or something, just came out, so it was enough reasons for me to buy this beautiful book. So those were the books in my Amazon order, but before that I bought books on Book Depository, like I said, and I don't know what it is with Book Depository, but the last couple of two to three months, a ton of books have had some sort of reduction. All of the paperbacks are like 10 to 20 to 30% off, and I just can't control myself because all of the UK paperbacks are like six to seven euros, which is so cheap. So the first one is Wing Jones by Catherine Weber. Okay, guys, look at this. What? I don't have any colored books on my shelf and this one is just so colorful and it's so beautiful. Cannot wait to read this. I first heard of this book from Maddie and B from Heartful of Books and they talked about this. I think that they got an arc of this book, but I'm not too sure. This is a contemporary story about a girl who has a lot of different sort of like cultural backgrounds. She has a grandmother from China and another from Ghana and 15 year old Wing Jones is often caught between worlds when tragedy strikes, she discovers an extraordinary talent she never knew she had 
Wing's running could bring her family everything it needs. It could also keep Wing from the one thing she truly wants. I really want to read more diversely this year and I think until so far I've already done that because I've read a couple of books about transgender people but I also want to read more about people with different cultural backgrounds so this one would fit right in with that. And I bought another one of Karis's favorite books and that is Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard and this book fits so well with the title. It's so pretty. I mean look at that. It's dark blue with like gold details and exactly what I want in a book cover. Sarah Bernard also just recently came out with A Quiet Kind of Thunder which is also a contemporary book and I've heard amazing things about that. I have heard kind of like good and mixed things about this book but it's one of Karis's favorites and I trust Karis so hopefully I will enjoy this book as well. In this story we follow Katie and Rosie and they've always been inseparable. They've always been super good friends but then this other girl Suzanne comes around and she sort of like rips up the friendship and I think we just follow their story with like the trouble and struggle of their friendship. I just hope that I will enjoy this book just as much as Karis did. Well, guys, I cannot wait to read this book as well. This is also a very recent release and it is History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera and the UK paperback. It just looks so good. Like all of these books that I bought, they're just beautiful, stunning books. So you will hear that word a lot of times in this video. You have already heard that word a lot of times in this video. So this is a very sad contemporary story but it is about um, our main character who's a boy who had broken up with his boyfriend I believe a couple of weeks or months ago but then his boyfriend died unfortunately but then the main character starts talking with his ex-boyfriend current boyfriend and I believe that they sort of fall in love and you follow the story from like the past point of view and the present point of view and I already read the first two pages and I already started tearing up, so that probably means that Adam Silvera is doing a really good job with writing a sad story. I have heard really great things about this book, so I cannot wait to read this. And hopefully after this, I will buy more of Adam Silvera's books. And I believe that he will also be publishing another book this year, which has a really interesting title. I believe it's called They All Die at the End or something. Doesn't sound like a happy book either. In May, there is a movie adaption of a book coming out. You already guessed it. I bought Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. I first also wanted to buy the paperback because that was only six euros but I believe everyone all of a sudden after seeing the movie trailer wanted to read this book so it was sold out but I still really want to read this book before the movie comes out so I bought it in hardcover and you already know what the story is about but I'm gonna sort of like tell it anyway. It's about this girl who is allergic to everything but then she gets a new neighbor and it's a cute boy and she probably falls in love. It's super duper short. It's just 300 pages and I really want to read this this week because I think that this will a very fast paced, quick, cute, contemporary read. So those were the four books that I bought from Book Depository and I thought, you know, I've spent all my money. You know, I've, I've bought enough books for this month. Then I looked on Amazon and I saw a hardcover book new for five euros and it's a new release how could I let that just pass by? I just had to get it, you know? I, you feel me? Okay. Everyone has been talking about this book lately and I just think that that's great because I think that this is a very important read and it is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I'm sorry for the reflecting thing. It's the sun. I am so excited to read this. It has gotten amazing reviews. I even looked it up on Goodreads and I think that it has like a 4.75 out of 5 stars on Goodreads which is just mind-blowing. That's like the highest rating of a contemporary book that I've ever seen. This book is really important because it has to do with the the Black Lives Matter movement where especially in the US a lot of black people are being shot by police for no really just an exact reason. So in this book we follow Stark Carter who just sort of lives between two worlds. She's grown up in this poor black neighborhood but then she also goes to this sort of like white prep school and then her childhood best friend gets shot but the people cannot really find a reason why her ex best childhood friend was shot but I believe that the only person who can really like uh, clear up this situation is Star and she has to deal with that and I think that I will be reading this very soon because it just sounds really good and important and I definitely, definitely want to read this before the end of this year. So those were all the 10 books that I bought this past month and I'm not allowing myself to buy any more books until like May. And I said not buying because I will be turning 18 on April 14th so I can ask for books for my birthday. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You can also follow me on Goodreads, Snapchat, and Instagram. I will leave links to all of that in the description down below so you can check it all out. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!